Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we have a very special and rare piece of Emerson history guys. This is the original Titanium Specware A with a Half Moon logo circa 1997 per Ernest Emerson, okay? Let's look at the box real quick. The Specware A Titanium Prototype. Amazing guys, very, very special. If you're not aware guys, let me show you what I mean by Half Moon logo. You see that, Emerson? That is known as the Half Moon logo. And it's one indicator of those early, you know, the early years of Ernest Emerson work, okay? The, the first decade or so. Generally speaking, we know that we have several stamps. We have the buoy logo that was in the early 80s. And then he switched to the Half Moon logo from the 80s to 94 or so. And of course, that's an average, right? Because this one, he's, he's dating in 97, okay? And then after that, we got the Viper logo, the Specware knife that we're familiar with, right? And the Diamond logo, Skull logo that he made on specific dates. Very, very rare. So be aware, the Half Moon logo, very rare piece, okay? Now, I do have a description from Ernest Emerson himself. So let's read that and then we'll go through the blade and show you that, okay? Titled the original titanium Specware A with half moon logo circa 97, okay? This is one of the rarest of the rare, a handmade hand ground featuring a chisel ground titanium blade with a carbide coated on the reverse side and an un an anodized subdued royal blue. You know, just a touch of blue right there. I made only a handful of titanium blades for some ravens and some spec wars due to a request from NAF spec war when I was building tools for the SEAL teams. And guys, that nest NAF spec war stands for the United States Naval Special Warfare Command, also known as the WARCOM, okay? I kept a couple of models of each of those knives, and here's one of them. For those of you who want a special piece of both Emerson and Navy SEAL history. Gosh, I can't believe that was 23 years ago. How time flies when you are having fun. How cool is that, guys? 23 years. The original prototype of the titanium Specware knife. And guys, let's, let's look at this blade. Like he mentioned, it has an anodized royal blue hand ground titanium blade. So it's ground on this side. And then it's a chisel on the other side side okay and then you have your classic right emerson chisel edge and all that hand ground you see those serrations are hand ground very very nice and you have that half moon logo of emerson and that touch of blue that i'm not sure if the light will pick it up very nicely or not but it has you know a touch of blue through the whole blade and guys, the concept of titanium blades was born from special operation units, COD, demolitions and all that, right? They needed a non-magnetic and corrosion resistant solution, right? And the trick here was that they will put a laminated carbide powder in that edge. Like you can see, that's what is that, to make sure that you can sharpen it because titanium does not hold an edge but when you put that laminated carbide right then you are pretty good still you know you need to be careful with it but now you can sharpen it very very unique guys very very unique very cool like i mentioned a chisel edge half moon logo and the handle and ergonomics of the spec war one thing i should say is that it's very very light of course, because of the titanium blade and all the ergonomics that make the spec were a very famous design, right? All contouring, 
simple hardware, all the classic signature of Ernest Emerson. And guys, such an historic piece, very humble to have it in my collection. And guys, if you have any other question, feel free to jump in on caloblaze.com, comment on YouTube, Instagram, I always read all that. And in caloblaze.com, I do have my direct links to Echo Group, right? Emerson Operator, US and Forums, that we are always hanging around and sharing this amazing hobby. You guys have a great day out there. Bye.